Good morning. It's Mark Gordon with your Gold, Silver, and Spiders report. 9 a.m. Wednesday morning, uh, November 2nd, 2011. Taking a look at gold, this is the GLD. Uh, we are currently back up over this blue line, the 50-day moving average. Very bullish sign for gold. Gapped up this morning. Uh, came down here the last couple of days. Challenged this 10-day moving average, this gray line, successfully. Uh, also, uh, stayed above this green dotted line, which is the 100-day moving average. So support coming in for gold and uh, fighting a battle here at the 50-day moving average. Looking at some technical indicators on the GLD, we can see that this black line is still above the blue line. This is the MACD. A lot of traders look at this uh, for momentum. And uh, we crossed back here in early October and have maintained this upward bias ever since. Uh, down here, this is the stochastics uh, looking positive also. Uh, they are in the overbought zone. Anything above 80 is overbought. But when they remain up there uh, three days or more in a row, it's a sign of accumulation. So uh, stochastics looking good for gold as well. And get, to get a little long-term uh, perspective on gold, uh, this is a weekly chart of gold. You can see that we, uh, we got way above this upper uh, trend line here and uh, came crashing down and tested this lower trend line successfully as it has done uh, for the past year and a half. Uh, right now, on a weekly basis, we are up over the 10-week moving average. If we close above that, that will be the second uh, week in a row that we closed above the 10-week moving average, which is a positive sign. And going now to a monthly chart of gold, uh, we can see the uptrend solidly in place. Uh, this blue solid line is the 10-month moving average, which we have closed above ever since late 2008. So the uptrend continues, even though we got way above uh, the upper uh, trend line here uh, and came back down and corrected. And we look at it at a monthly chart, no big deal. So gold remains in a solid uptrend. And moving on to silver, this is the SLV, the exchange traded fund for silver. Um, almost a 3% move today. Came down here, tested the 21-day moving average at about $31.50 here and bounced up, gapping up this morning. Uh, so solid uh, action here on the silver. In a very volatile trading range though, lots of up and down movements here. Um, no place for the faint of heart, but silver uh, fighting a battle to remain above its 21-day moving average. Um, the 50-day uh, moving average is coming in at um, 34.69 and is in a downtrend here, having crossed under the uh, 200 and 100-day moving averages. Um, so that's your next point of resistance uh, at uh, 34.69 for silver. And switching now to a weekly chart, uh, get a little longer term perspective, you can see that we are under this 10 week moving average, this uh, blue solid line, uh, fighting a battle down here uh, within this uh, volatile trading range still. So if silver can get through this uh, 35 to $36 area here where all these moving averages are coming together, uh, it will have an easier time uh, moving up into the 40s. Longer term chart of uh, uh, silver shows uh, its ability to stay above its 10 month moving average here. Uh, this is a monthly chart. Uh, all through uh, 2009 and uh, in 2000 and 2010 and in 2011, for the past several months, we have closed below this blue line, the 10-week moving average. Uh, so silver, uh, a very nasty correction off of about $50 down to 2615 but uh, managing to close above its 20-month moving average, uh, which is a sign that uh, silver remains in a bullish bias. And last but not least, this is the SPY, the uh, S&P 500, uh, today up about 1.6%. Uh, coming down here, uh, bouncing up off of this lower trend line that was established here weeks ago and uh, uh, getting support here at its 100-day moving average, this green dotted line, solidly above its 50-day moving average, which is now pointed up, and getting support here also at this red line, which is the 21-day moving average. So. Um, uh, the S&P 500 um, uh, still remaining in this uptrend it's been in here uh, through October. And your next uh, areas of resistance will be this upper trend line at about $126 and this uh, black dotted line which is the 200 day moving average coming in at $126.50. And should uh, prices collapse from here, uh, you get support down here at your 50-day moving average, which is at uh, 119.20 right now, 119.20 uh, support to the downside. And of course, uh, more support down here at the red line, the 21-day moving average at about 122. 
So the SPY trying to get through a bunch of uh, uh, overhead resistance here at these key moving averages and uh, um, completing this sort of cup uh, pattern of formation. Uh, so if it gets through all this and successfully uh, uh, closes above uh, uh, this 200 day moving average, you could see a run even uh, further. So right now the bias is to the upside to make a run up here and challenge the upper trend line and challenge the 200 day moving average. So good luck everybody. Uh, markets are very volatile so be careful.